Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to GorillaWire.com. I'm Axel Fala, and here we have Monique Simone from, uh, you can follow her on YouTube and on Instagram. How's it going, Monique? Welcome back. I know you're right from California, and I'm here in New York. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about Krampus, or Krampus, who's like the anti-Santa uh, Claus. Can you delve more information into that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Krampus is gaining some popularity here in the States, although he originates in, it's Germany, right? German kids, yeah. Yes. So, German kids know all about Krampus. And Krampus uh, is a beastly looking guy who goes around whipping the kids with sticks and he has his little chains ready to whip some bad, or I should say naughty kids, but it's naughty. Naughty is like the Christmas word. Naughty or nice, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so Santa gives the gifts to the nice kids and Krampus comes along and gives the butt whoopings to the naughty kids. And he looks like a little demon devil kind of guy. And all the kids fear him. And all the parents are like, you better be good or else Krampus is on his way. No Santa for you. No coal. No, no, no. <laughs> Santa's not just giving you coal. He's going to bring his buddy, old pal, Krampus. Because I think in the stories or in the mythology, Santa is the one who brings Krampus along with him to like, you know, Santa's stressing. And he's like, you know what? My naughty list is like getting crazy and my nice list is like shrinking and so for all these naughty kids I need you to come in the clutch and whoop some butt so I think it's kind of a cool idea to scare the kids with crap <laughs> I, I mean, I mean <laughs> but maybe that's because I'm a parent and I'm like <laughs> Yeah, anything, whatever works, you know, to keep them alive. Krampus is coming. But 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 also Krampus is like a demon goat, half goat, half demon, uh, human, and and also if the if the boy or girl is really bad, he puts them in, in like some type of bird lap bag and and drags them down to hell. I mean, you you also didn't get into that part of the story. Uh, and, That's okay too. And. and, and and, and, and you know he beats them with you know a, a, a few wooden sticks and rods and and chains. I mean this guy is a demonic looking creature. I mean let, let's not you know sugarcoat this. This guy looks like like a like a a pit demon, uh, a, an evil pit demon with big eyes, big horns. You know this guy's some serious. I, I mean if you're a kid, if you're like five years old or eight years old, you know, and you see a, this demon coming out that's tall, has hooves at, as feet. You know it it, it, it you, you'd probably die of being so frightened so i mean do you think do you think this is good because now he's gaining in popularity here in, in the united states more than ever even though he's been around in urban le uh not urban but uh in european legend for a long time but it's finally catching on over here uh do you think this is like a, a positive thing that that should uh get more popular or do you think this should just be squashed and and, and not uh, brought up i mean what do you think i mean i i know you have your mother of two children uh, what do you think Maybe Krampus should be used for, like, the teenagers only. Because they get a little feisty sometimes. They, parents might need some, like, scary reinforcement from the devil-looking creature. <laughs> from, But, no, honestly, I, I'm joking about that. But I think that kids now are earlier at earlier and earlier ages uh, no longer believing in Santa. And for us here in the States, you know, Santa plays both the good, you know, he punishes the bad kids and he rewards the good kids with the coal or, or, you know, not getting presents or whatever the case is. But less and less kids believe, I'm finding less and less kids believe in Santa Claus at younger and younger ages. And maybe it's because kids are so exposed to everything they got. So their parents' cell phones in their hands and, on the, you know, they know everything. So... I don't think kids are even buying into the, and even like the clip that's on GorillaWire.com where it's t on American Dad where he's like, you know, bull crap, there's a Krampus. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. he, he didn't even believe, you know, his, his grandpa or whoever was telling him the story of Krampus. And I think that'd be the case here in the States too. It's kind of like just the ha-ha thing. Like even with the like demonic and the devil thing, it'd be just one of those other like 
But do you, do you think he should be commercialized like how Santa Claus is commercialized here? Like, you know, like uh, uh, Coca-Cola was using Santa Claus for a lot of its ads a few years ago. Do you think uh, Coca-Cola should use Krampus or Krampus, however you say his name, a, 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 in their ads? You know, like, drink Coca-Cola today or else. You know, like, it's like, I mean, I mean, is that cost, is, is that effective? We have things way crazier, I think, than Krampus going on to even be but what's really kind of scary is i think in in germany they had like drunk people go around that are dressed like the devil now that can be kind of scary and dangerous like if we had people in the streets like that could happen here i mean like we we when when halloween comes around we we have the True. you know crazy things that go on around th that time so yeah. wouldn't it be uh insane the same equivalent happened during christmas time when it's supposed to be you know a family Happy time Christmas. yeah and now all yeah. of a sudden this is happening you know, yeah, yeah, people running around in devil outfits during, you know, December 25th. I mean, that, that would yeah. be kind of very disheartening. You'd be like, you know, this is Christmas. You know, why is this happening? You know, it's just like uh, just recently um, a lot of people got their um, their bank's uh, credit cards stolen from Target. And, you know, so that hurt them during the cr uh, Christmas time. Uh, so imagine this also happening where people are running around in these devil outfits and doing, you know, bad stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah, I think for that reason, and, and if it was at that level of seriousness that it, it, it infiltrated our, our culture that much, I think we should probably keep Krampus at bay and keep our our crazy costume wearing to just the one night of the year in Halloween back in October. And, and come Christmas time, we should keep it light and, and jolly probably. But um, for the kids to hear of the stories or... There was like a little uh, parody on, on YouTube where the parent was telling the child the story of Krampus. And I don't think there's anything wrong with exposing your child to all different culture stories of their version of the Christmas story or Hanukkah. Or I think that's great to expose kids as, as to many sides of, of the, you know, of the festivities or the holidays as possible. But to enforce it and to like really use it to if they're at that age to really scare them or, or to have anything as serious as people possibly being hurt or, or taken advantage of in the streets or something as crazy as that, then, then no, obviously not. I don't think that's, that's something we want to bring into our holiday season here in the States. So, so Germany can kind of have it on that. On that tip. They, can, <laughs> they can, they can keep Krampus. Uh, although some people are calling him like the uh, the equivalent of Batman, like he's like the more broodier, like you know Superman would be, uh, you know the equivalent of of, of Santa, and, and Krampus would be the equivalent of, of Batman. He he get he still gets the job done, but he does it in a much more darker, broodier way. You know, mm -hmm. so I don't know what's going to happen, but I know he's gaining popularity. We'll see what happens as years go on, but uh, you know. I, I think it's definitely interesting, and we'll see how that story evolves and snowballs. Uh, I'm all right. sure we'll take, we'll take our own take on it here in America. You know we like to twist things to our, our own advantage here. So we'll Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a movie. There'll be a movie like, like This Christmas, Crumpus, <laughs> the musical. You know, like just something like, you know, who knows? I mean, you know, that sounds like a good idea. All right, so we're, we're going to, uh, that's all for today. Until next time, everybody. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking.